of the country's richest tycoons, Mukesh Ambani and Gautam Adani, have adopted different strategies to grow their wealth. While Adani has focused on public utilities, Ambani has shifted from profitable legacy business to pursuing consumer markets through Reliance Industries. Ambani's aggressive approach in Indian telecom by making voice calls free and data dirt cheap was a huge success. And now he may bring the same aggression to entertainment. Are you curious to know how Mukesh Ambani's consumer strategy could potentially outshine Gautam Adani's empire? This video takes a deeper dive into Ambani's plan and how it could lead to a successful Geo IPO, putting him ahead of Adani. Last June, Ambani's Reliance Industries Limited and Paramount Global's Viacom 18 Media outbid Walt Disney and Corporation for an exclusive five-year live streaming deal for Indian Premier League matches. Disney's Hotstar app earned only 76 cents per month from each of its 50 million Indian subscribers who signed up primarily to watch the IPL. Mukesh Ambani, on the other hand, has decided to forego this revenue altogether for this year's tournament starting on March 31st. The move is part of Ambani's strategy to establish supremacy over commerce in India by enlisting neighborhood grocers to fulfill digital orders, free live streaming of cricket will create demand for staple goods, which is what his network of mom and pop stores can supply most successfully. He can also use the free content to push his own in-house brands from foodstuff to cleaning liquids. Geo Platforms Limited, Ambani's mobile internet startup is probably headed for an initial public offering, giving his burgeoning digital domain a leg up over rival Gautam Adani's debt-fueled stocks. Ambani's consumer strategy is a mix of carriage, content and commerce, with Geo Platforms boasting of more than 430 million subscribers and the retailing business recording more than half a billion transactions in the past six months. However, he needs to create demand for staples in order to establish supremacy over commerce, which is why free live streaming may be crucial for him. Ambani's geo platforms have attracted investment from Silicon Valley giants like Facebook and Alphabet, which see potential for growth as the Indian mobile market reaches saturation and Jio's per-user revenue rises above $2 per month. Akshat Agarwal, a tech analyst at Jefferies India, wrote in a Jan 10th note, it's only with 10% annual price increase for three years that Jio will hit a 12-month EBITDA in the vicinity of $9 billion in March 2025. According to Jefferies, without the boost EBITDA, may be 25% lower. This could meaningfully impact Geo's valuation around listing. Geo's IPO expected in 2024 or 2025 could prove lucrative for its Silicon Valley backers as net debt decreases relatively to EBITDA and investors see potential in Geo's consumer staples business. Cricket, a popular sport in India, may be a key factor in promoting Geo's brand and attracting customers. The IPL will end in a stadium named after PM Modi, with bowling ends named after Reliance and Adani. It's a contest between two powerful men. A successful Geo fundraising will put Ambani ahead of Adani, reversing last year's outcome. Cricket, they say, is a game of glorious uncertainties.